Hello guys and welcome back to Tech It Out with me, OXFU. And last time we returned to the mines that have well, I was going to say that have plagued us since we first came across this land, but honestly they've been very bountiful, so I'm very glad of that. And we found 13 diamonds, oh my god. First things first. Let's not have any wood. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We need wood. <laughs> wow, we need wood. Yes, I know I should be planting some trees around the place, but... First, we need wood. <laughs> well, we can plant trees later. We got plenty of bone meal. Not really concerned about that right now. What I'm concerned about is we've got a couple of things I want to set up. And, yeah. <laughs> we can we can figure that all out later. Right. Wood. Go to, go to wood again. <laughs> First thing. Iron pick. Or, not iron pick. <laughs> God. Diamond pick. Because we're going to need that. And let's get rid of... Screw those fences. We don't need them. Alright, second thing we need is we need that covalence dust. So, we're going to toss all of you guys in here. You can just hang out for now. Take you saplings. Because we'll use, we'll use you a little later. Where is that covalence dust? Where did I put that covalence dust? Covalence dust, and where's the other one? Covalence dust. Alright, so for the third type of covalence dust... What do we need? We need coal and diamond. So, where did I put that coal? Shoot, I didn't mean to throw that in. So, let's make that right quick. There we go. And we might as well upgrade our divining rod while we're at it. To the highest it can be. And now you'll see that uh, we can do a long range, 64 blocks. And it'll tell us the average, the best EMC value found, the second best, and the third best. So like you can see this is all like rock and, and dirt and very low minerals. There's not really nothing good under us, it seems. Oh well, that's a shame. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm kind of wasting time. Uh, and then after that, what we want to do is... We want to make an alchemical chest, which is stone, iron, a chest, covalence dust, and diamond. So first things first, we need some stone. Do we have any smooth stone? No, we... Oh, yeah, we do. Here it is. Stone, iron, and we have the... We have enough for the rest. All right. I'm going to make a bunch of chests, because we're getting into the part of the game where we have to start sorting stuff and start using pipes a lot more. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be using so many of those. So many chests. Chests, I mean. God, I can't speak for the life of me today. And we're going to throw these in here. And where's the last one? There it is. And there we go. An alchemical chest. Now these things are cool. Because... Plop them down. And, oh my god, look at how much storage th there is. I mean, like, I'm just blown away. Look at that. But we're going to pick you right back up. And, oh. Going to plonk you right back down. Because we are going to get one thing and one thing only. Nope, go back down. We are going to get some... Obsidian. We really need that right now. 
So, I'll see you guys. No, I might as well keep you guys around while I'm doing this. I mean, it'll take like a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> maybe even maybe even quicker than that, you know? Actually, you know what? You know what? Oh, screw it. You know what is... Oh, no, it's not going to work. I was going to say, we might as well like pour that water on that lava, but that's not a big enough lava source. It will give us one obsidian. Oh, going the wrong way again. Jeez. God. Such a dumb. Give us some cobblestone, too, so we don't fall in. Well, not so we don't fall in, but so we can build pathways around stuff. Uh, let's see. Where did we go next? Oh, we went this way. Oh, hey, slime. Nah, whatever. I am going to kill a slime because, oh my god, slime balls. Because sticky pistons are fantastic. I love sticky pistons. Three slime balls, not bad, not bad at all. Could do much worse. Alright, that should be good. So, let's go ride a bike. No, what am I talking about? Let's go downstairs. Kill a zombie, and mine some obsidian. All in a full day's work, you know, nothing big. Alright, so easiest way to find mine obsidian I've found is go down a layer, hold down shift, while you're, while you're, after you start mining it, because if you start mining while holding shift, it'll go really slow, and just move forward. This way you're making sure that you're not being, that lava's not flowing over onto you. You're making sure you go out and catch the block, but you're also making sure that you don't fall into the lava. See? Perfect. And then was, as we move out, we'll use cobblestone to make an extra floor. It's pretty easy. <laughs> oh, looked up to make sure nothing was coming, and kind of screwed myself over because now we have to start mining the obsidian anew. How's that lava flow over there? I can't see from here. The one we plugged, I'm thinking. Alright. Might as well get enough to uh, make a nether portal as well while we're here. There's no reason not to. I found nether portals in Tekkit work really, really oddly, actually. For some reason, they want to uh, teleport me to a place that I've not actually started from. Like, a random cave, as though the nether portal that I... Oh, goodness. Goodness me. The nether... As though the nether portal I first made in my own base stopped existing once I went through the portal. I don't know, I don't know why. It's just, it's just odd. Oh, that was a very close zombie noise. I do not like it. Alright, so, let's check that recipe once we get this block. Uh, I want a condenser. Alright, so that's four. So we'll need at least 12 obsidian. Eight for the nether portal. And four for the energy condenser. Oh, and once we get the energy condenser, that's it. Like, we we, we're, we can go crazy. Actually, you know what? That's that's good enough. I'll show you why. You, the, we don't need any more obsidian. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. We need four, five, that's it. <laughs> we don't need more than five. God, what are we, like, pff, overcompensating for something? <laughs> oh, man, I can't get, I can't wait to get back, though. You got, I, I, th I think you guys are, are really going to like this. If, you, if you've not seen Tekkit before, I mean, because, I mean, those of you that have played Tekkit, you know exactly what's coming. This is no surprise. Everybody, everybody, everybody does this. 
is like the first thing you do in Tech It. Well, not the first thing, but this is the first real thing you do in Tech It. So this is this is not This is not a big thing at all. Pfft, who am I kidding? Oh, but we're getting near the end of the day. This is gonna be an entire episode devoted to just to getting this alchemical chest. Oh, I forgot I put stuff in there. <laughs> Alright, so Energy condenser, four diamonds, alchemical chest, and obsidian. Alright, ready for this? Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? We have an energy condenser. And this, my friends, I want to put somewhere special. I was thinking near near my bed, but that's kind of weird. Um... Oh, we want to put we want to put this somewhere really special. Okay, that's all. That's all cool. Hmm. I'm thinking yeah, right next to the generator, center of the room. And well, let's get let's get let's get something special. Let's get some uranium cuz <laughs> screw the rules. No, um actually throw get that Get that uranium out of here. Where is that tungsten? Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. So, you'll see that this is the energy condenser. And basically how the energy condenser works is you put one of what you want to get back in this spot, in the top left, and you put the items that you want to use down here and watch the magic happen. Ready? 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 Bam! Two diamonds. Oh, that's so cool. Basically what it does is it converts materials into other materials. So the EMC value of tungsten is twice that of diamonds. So for each piece of tungsten, we get two diamonds. And look at that. 14 diamonds. Now the reason I'm using tungsten is because tungsten's not actually used at all in Tekkit right now. So it's not... you don't need to actually hold on to it. Like if you want to hold on to one for the future when it gets used, not a bad idea I guess. I mean the person who developed Tekkit developed it so that there are patches of tungsten so that People using Tekkit don't have to make new maps just so they can find t tungsten, which is pretty smart. Oh man, I have no idea what to do with all the diamond we have now. Oh my god, I I've got to think about what we want to do now. Oh, well I guess the next thing we want to do is kind of streamline this, which means... We need to expand. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time on Tech It Out with me, Oxfu. Oh my god, look at that. 14 diamonds. They're going to bed with me. Oh yeah. Take it easy, guys.